Hey folks, Russ Bailey here. Welcome to another edition of Brush Pile Fishing. It is a cool October morning here in northern Ohio. We're on the shores of Lake Erie. Uh, it's been a hot, hot fall so far. We were at 91 degrees just a couple of days ago. It's finally dropped into the 30s at night. We've had high winds, but we're in a place that's pretty secluded from the wind. We should be able to fish. We're going to concentrate on some shallow water crappie. We should catch some nice blacks and whites. We're going to do a little cork fishing, and we're also going to do some pontoon shooting. If that sun pops out, it'll push those fish under the pontoons. Uh, we've got a great guest today. Um, for you folks that follow us here on Brush Pile Fishing, you know I'm a big baseball fan, uh, always have been, and we have a great guest, Lynn Barker. He's a former pitcher for the Cleveland Indians, actually pitched the 10th perfect game in Major League history. Uh, he's an avid outdoorsman now, so we're going to spend some time with him on the water. Don't know if he's ever shot docks, but he's going to learn today. So you stay tuned. We'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart-pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country, right here on Brush Pile Fishing. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. We are here on the Portage River at Lake Erie with Lenny Barker. Lenny, how are we doing Hi, today? Hi Russ, nice to see you. Hey, it's an honor to, uh, to have you on the show. Um, anyone that sees my Facebook page, they know I'm a baseball nut. My son plays college ball. And uh, I remember your perfect game, bud. Yeah, it, was, it was only a few years ago, about 37, 38 <laughs> years ago. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I know now you're a college baseball coach. Yeah, I'm a head baseball coach at Notre Dame College. It's a D2, and uh, I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Do you get much time to go hunting and fishing? Uh, I, I make time to go hunting and fishing. I'm the head coach, so I can make the time. You, you make your own schedule. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, what we're going to do today, Lynn, we're going to concentrate on some shallow water crappie. You know, we're folks, we're here in October, and just a couple days ago, it was 91 degrees, and then it went from 90 to in the 30s at night. Uh, it's been a tough fall because the water didn't cool down like it normally has. But now we've had a couple good cold nights, and I think we're going to get some good shallow water crappie. Yeah, sounds like fun. This is Ohio weather, though. It's the way it is. 90 degrees one day and then 35 degrees the you next day. You got it, and yeah. that's exactly how it was this year. Yeah. You ready to get started? I'm ready to get going. Portage River right here at Lake Erie, folks. Here we go. All we're doing, Lynn, flipping up there. You let it sit or you just pop it a little I'll, bit? What I'll do is uh, I'll flip it under there mm -hmm. and I'll let it set, let that jig fall to the bottom, let it set for two, three seconds. Right. And then just barely pop it one or two times okay. and let it set some more. A lot of times we dock there. You catch them on the dock? I've caught a few up there. <laughs> a lot of, oh, there. there we go. Hey. Hey, not a hog, but I'll tell you what, that gets us going this morning. Yep. And with that, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing, folks. We are here at the Portage River on Lake Erie, fishing with former Major League Baseball pitcher, Lenny Barker. Lenny, now that's not a big hog, but we're going to get bigger than that yeah. today. That's the first one of the day. About a nine, nine half inch fish. Not a lot of color right now. Using a crappie magnet jigs today folks and just tipping them with a crappie nibble and just getting started that was probably my third flip of the morning when you get in here in the portage the good thing is it's actually pretty windy out on the main lake but this these canals set down a little bit and you can always find somewhere to get out of that wind when people think of lake erie 
they think perch and walleye fishing. But did you know that the shores of Lake Erie also provide access to beauty and entertainment like no other? In Lake County, Ohio, visit the Headlands Beach State Park, which attracts swimmers, picnickers, and a whole host of birds and butterflies. Its mile-long natural sand beach is the largest in the state. Fairport Harbor Lakefront Park is another gem in Lake County. People enjoy activities like birding, boating, fishing, geocaching, and swimming. The Lake Erie Bluffs and Coastal Observation Tower are a must-see for the outdoor lover. The 40-foot-high beach bluffs are a sight to behold. Then climb the 50-foot-tall observation tower to take in a view of a lifetime. Remarkable Lake County, Ohio. Go to mylakeoh.com for more information. War Eagle Boats, the most versatile line of hunting and fishing aluminum boats available. We strive to overcome real hunting and fishing obstacles, which drives us to create better products in the future. Check out the Blackhawk 2170, the ultimate crappie fishing boat. Built on a 22-degree V-Hull and paired with a 150-horsepower motor, you get lots of space and performance. All War Eagle boats are built to suit the needs of our customers, guaranteeing you a boat worthy of the investment. Visit WarEagleBoats.com to get your started today. B&M Poles. That's a three pound crappie. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Got it. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, B&M has your pole. My signature series rod. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. B&M Poles, the number one crappie pole company in the world. Hey folks, Russ Bailey here from Brush Pile Fishing. We are here in Kentucky at Cornfield Crappie with Mark Riddle. Mark, how are we doing? Good, Russ. How are you? I'll tell you what, you just rigged our boat. Absolutely great products you have. Can you tell the folks about all you have to offer? We got our monitor mounts. We got a new bridge. The thing we've done the most with has been the cable saver. We've actually sold them worldwide. We got them out to put the live scope on the trolling motor. There you have it, folks. Cornfield Crappie. If you want the boat that looks good, Cornfield Crappie. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these outstanding sponsors. B&M Poles, over 70 years of quality and performance. War Eagle, built for hunters who love to fish. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Slime Line, catch the fever. Crappie Magnet, sore lip them all. So Lynn, how long have you been coaching Notre Dame College? I've been there 11 years now. I was there first three years as an assistant and then they made me the head coach. Okay. And uh, it's been going great. Good. We made it to the championship game last year and got beat nine to eight in the final. Uh, that was a tough one. But we got a bunch of good guys. It's good to teach them, see them uh, by the time they come in as a freshman and then uh, leave as a senior, they're grown men, yeah. getting their education. And if they're fortunate enough to make it to the major leagues, that's great. I know we were off camera, you said you had uh, one of your first players finally make it to the majors. Yeah, I had one of our first, he got drafted in the sixth round and uh, took him three years and he made it up to the major leagues and he debuted actually against the Cleveland Indians in two years ago. That's awesome, man. Of course, the Indians, one of your former teams, where you got to pitch your perfect game. And I remember I was in high school. I remember that. So what are you saying that, that I'm an old I'm guy? I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty close in age. Oh, oh, that was a crappie. And my guest folks, Lenny Barker, just missed a nice crappie there. Lenny, we're gonna say he was three and a half pounds. Yeah, he was a big one. If you're gonna miss him, let's miss him big. Of course, folks, if you're a baseball fan, Lenny, a longtime major leaguer, actually pitched a perfect game, which is about as rare as it can get in baseball. Remember how many pitches you threw that game? 103. That was nothing back then. 103, 84 strikes. No kidding. No three ball counts. Not one. Nope. I was on that day, me and the catcher. Pretty awesome, that's for sure. Water temperature today, folks, we're down to 58 degrees. It was 74 last week when I was in here. 
Now, when the water is muddy like this, uh, how much does it affect the fishing? It, it does. Um, you really got to hunt for the color that they want, but you can still, we've had some really nice days in, in muddy water like this. There we go. Again, about a nine inch fish, but if you remember, Lynn, I said we'd have to sort through a lot of these little ones yeah. to get to some of the bigger ones. Broke the ice though. Yep. Now with these rods, when you get them about right here, you can just hoist them up. You don't have to reel up, they'll, they'll take it. Just flip them in. Yep. Now we gotta find them big ones. There's uh -oh. a nice crappie. Big old black. There we go, folks. All right, that's what we're talking about. See why I'm playing around with my rod. <laughs> Lynn, that didn't sound right on TV now. <laughs> Look at there, folks. Good, healthy, and he's actually got some color to him. That's a nice fish. Same thing, very finicky bite. Barely took that cork under. Look at that. Oh, that's a crappie. Oh, that's a nice crappie dog. Hoist him in, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. That's a good keeper. There you go, Lynn. Hey, first keeper of the morning for you. There we go. You know, folks, another thing I'm experimenting this morning, everything that we've caught has been on that little split tail. I've tried a single tail, the slab, magnet but they don't want any part of that they want the smaller profile bait there we go there's another nice one oh yeah not as big as i thought but he's decent got a little sun coming up hopefully these fish are going to turn on now our sponsors make brush pile fishing happen stay tuned for more action from the water getting a high quality american-made product at one of the best price points in the industry customer service that's second to none more importantly they flat out catch fish Introducing NKT.TV, a brand new solution for the cord cutting generation. With NKT.TV, viewers enjoy viewer specific programming with the ability to pick and choose the channels you wish to subscribe to. Missed brush pile fishing this week? Catch it on NKT.TV, along with all your other pursuit channel favorites. NKT.TV offers dozens of network and channel options for you, the viewer, to choose from. So go ahead, cut the cord, and get everything you want with nothing you don't. Visit NKT.TV today. The new home for your fishing needs is boneheadtackle.com. Get all the latest product information. Shop our new and improved tackle shop. We have baits for crappie, bass, striper, sand bass, saltwater and terminal tackle, bait styles and slim stick, stump bugs, brush gliders and bulk jig heads available. Check out our superior mono line, crankbaits for bass, and our top of the line carbon fiber fishing rods. Bonehead Tackle, family owned business with one goal in mind. Make fishing more fun and help all anglers catch more fish. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. This patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these amazing companies. Grand Lake St. Mary's, Crappie USA, NKT.TV, Rockport Rattler, Power Pole, Bonehead Tackle, Cornfield Crappie. Lynn, what we're doing now is a technique called shooting. Mm -hmm. And all we're doing, we've got the bail open, line resting on our finger. Right. We want to get back in that dark water with that sun. So what we're doing, just shooting it back there as far as we can, and then we're just gonna let it drop. And a lot of times I'll hit it on drop and just kind of watch your line. When that line moves, the fish, and there was a the fish. There, the fish was on there. So just like this? Yep, 
Now pull her back and just look where you're gonna shoot it and let her go. Nice, not bad for your first one. There we go. Oh, there's a nice fish. That we need a net. I got, I got him, I think he's hooked good. He's hooked good. There's our first white crappie of the day. Mm -hmm. That is a nice one. Everything we've got today so far, folks, have been black crappie. There's a nice little white, no color on these fish right now. You can tell that water temperature dropped fast. They haven't adjusted. Good fish, good cleaner, nice healthy crappie. What you got, Lynn? Oh, there's a good one. There we go, good keeper. So Lynn, this is the first time you've ever shot docks. It's taking you about 10 minutes and you're getting them back here every time. What do you think of this technique? I like it. It's a different, uh, now when I fish, I might fish bash that way too. I'll tell you what, and where this really comes in handy, if those fish, you got a lot of sun that pushes them down, mm -hmm. they're looking for that darkest water they can find, just the shade. Yep. And you'll get into spots a lot of guys won't get to because if they're using them long poles like we started, they may hit right along this edge, but they're not getting that they're dark They're not getting stuff. it back there in the back. I like this. I think one of the toughest things when you just start out doing this, Lynn, the shooting part, you can get down pretty easy. It's just, you know, you want to try to wait and feel that bite where you got to look for it. Right. And once you learn what that line's showing you. Then you set more hooks, oh, catch yeah. more fish. More fish, for sure. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Yes, it is. Look at there, folks. There's a good black crappie. That cold front will definitely affect these shallow water fish more than they will deep water. There we go. Oh, there's a nice crappie. Look at there. Can we get the net? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a big black. There we go. There we go. I'll tell you what, this has been a good little corner. And you just missed one in there, so we know there's some fish here. Another one. Crappie are starting. Yeah, oh yeah. A decent one there, huh? In Ohio, all the inland lakes have a nine inch uh, limit and 30 per man, except Lake Erie has no limit for either wow. because it's federal waterways. Again, about a 10 inch good cleaning fish here. Let them big ones go back. Clean something like that, folks. There's the crappie. We got, Lynn? Got a crappie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. More fishing to come on Brush Pile Fishing. great fishing, check out Grand Lake St. Mary's. Located in West Central Ohio, if you're looking to land bass, catfish, crappie, perch, or bluegill, Grand Lake is the place for you. Check out greatergrandlakeregion.com. want to introduce that the new brush pile fishing store carries all the gear that i use in the brush pile fishing show just go to www.brushpilefishing.com and check out the crappie shop and find jigs apparel line nets b m poles and so much more in the sale and clearance sections you'll find deep discounts on the gear that will help you put more fish in your boat that's brushpilefishing.com there we go. Ah, oh, that feels pretty good.
good. Oh. Getting a little bigger. Another nice one. Let's check in with Russ for the Brush Pile Gear Check. Hey folks, thanks for joining me for the Brush Pile Gear Check. We actually used two different rods today for the style we were fishing. The first I want to talk about, because we did this the most, was just flipping under those docks. So what we use, this is the Russ Bailey Signature Series, I'm proud to say, uh, by b &M. We use the 10 and a half footers today. It's a nice light rod. It's made for making flips to where you can pinpoint exactly where you put it. Um, as far as the reel, we had the Pro Series B&M reel on today. Now, here's the key too, especially when we were shooting, we want the high-vis line because you want to be able to see that line move if you don't have a bobber on. And the other thing is, I used to shoot with nothing but six pound. I've went to a four pound. For whatever reason, you will see that line move a lot better than just going to a six. So the four pound test, uh, slime line, it's easy to see. You can see that line moving. Those fish that we were in were in shallow, so we've got this little ice float. We pegged it with a toothpick. If we found those fish this shallow, we could fish it, but say they move deep with that sun, just like that, you've changed your depth, you're ready to go. So that ice cork when fishing this shallow water is a big key. As far as the jig, we went with the old crappie magnet today. And I tried a couple different styles. I like using the slab magnets, which is the uh, long tail, but I'll tell you what, especially early when it was finicky, just the regular old crappie magnet. Two colors worked real well for us. The first, and Lynn I don't think changed all day. He had red and chartreuse, he caught some fish on it, you wasn't getting him to change. And I think I was the same way. I had the black and chartreuse on, it was good all day. And these are tough baits as far as not tearing up on you, but we went through several because once the bite turned on, these fish turned aggressive. And I don't know how many fish we caught, but it was a great day. So that's part one of this. The other equipment that we were using today, you've seen us shooting under a few docks and shooting under pontoons. So what we use, it's, it's called a Sharpshooter 6 by b &M. It is specifically made for shooting. We put a heck of a bend on those rods. When you do it, a lot of rods are going to snap at that point. This is made for that. It's got the perfect bend point to where you're not going to snap the, the uh, rod. Again, we went with Pro Series Reel, same thing as we had on the long rods with the high vis slime line, four pound test. And again, when I'm shooting now, it's exclusively four pounds. I don't go to six. Now, here's the difference. Instead of the bobber, we would shoot this under, and I've got a loop knot in that. And the reason I use that loop knot is when that thing's coming back or it's dropping, it'll swim more freely in the water. We went with the same jig head. We've got one 32nd ounce uh, crappie magnet jig heads, and then the crappie magnet tails. We stuck with the same colors. One key on shooting, if you haven't done it before, and Lynn picked this up super, super quick. You'll get the, the art of shooting it pretty easy, but sometimes it's hard to see the strike because you will see that strike nine times out of 10 before you actually feel it. With these poles on the hook set, you know, you hear a lot of times that the crappie's called a paper mouse, so people say, man, don't set that hook so hard, you'll rip his lips out. Get away from that thought, okay? When you're jig fishing, it's a complete opposite. Your initial hook set from here to here should be hard and fast, boom, just like that. What that'll do, it'll put that jig right up in the top part of the crappie's mouth, and that's hard to get out. You will lose a lot less fish by setting that hook hard. And folks, that's the equipment we were using today. Thanks for joining us for the Brush Pile Gear Check. Right there. Yep. Told you he was right there. Oh. All right. That's a nice one. Nice black one, right? There you go. Show the folks at home that one. A nice fat one right there. Good eating. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We uh, ran into the cold weather, technical difficulties, everything else. But man, once it warmed up today, Lynn, we put a hurting on them. Oh, we did. It, it was slow early, and then all of a sudden it got warmer, and we started catching a lot. Of, we hit a couple of those holes. We would catch <laughs> about 15, 20 of them right yes. quick, and then went back and caught another 10 or so. Well, you know what it, the key was, like we talked about earlier, 
once that water temperature went from 58 all the way to 67, but when it hit about 63, man, it turned them it, on that it, shallow yeah. water. And we were catching first early a couple small ones here and there, and you caught some really nice ones, and I caught a couple nice ones. Yes, sir. The, it, we caught quite a few of them. It's, it was a fun day. I enjoyed it. Lynn Barker, again, he pitched the 10th perfect game in Major League history for the Indians. I'm an Indians fan, so you know that I was uh, aware of that game. And uh, Lynn, I appreciate you joining oh, us, man. Oh, Russ, I appreciate it. I had a great time, and thanks, Joe, for being the cameraman and helping me out. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, hopefully we'll do it again sometime. I'd like to get up here during that spawn, Yeah, I'd, show you some of them to. big, big fish. I'd love to. That'd well, folks, great. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a great day here at Lake Erie, the Portage River. You stay tuned, because we'll be back next week with Brush Pile Fishing. Hey folks, if you like the stuff we were using on the show, make sure you check out our website. It's brushpilefishing.com. We also have a Facebook page. All of the previous shows that we've had, they're completely free to watch. Just pick the show you want. You can do that on our website or on YouTube. The other thing, folks, we recently started uh, our own podcast on iHeartRadio. Just get that app, go to iHeartRadio, punch in Brush Pile Fishing, and they're all right there with a brief description. They're about 15, 20 minutes long. Nothing better to listen to than on your way to work than a little bit of crappie fishing. For more brush pile fishing excitement, find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.